Alrighty. <laughs> what is going on, everybody? It is the Misfit Bear, and welcome back to another reaction. I was not expecting to see this video. Near Replicant. This is a remaster of the first Near game. The game that is supposed to be the predecessor of Near Automata, but the two games literally have nothing in common. You know, Near Automata, if you haven't, I played the game. Go check it out. If you don't know what it is, I'm about to give you some spoilers, so stop now. Otherwise, you've been warned. Near Automata is about, you know, the, the world, humanity goes extinct, all because of machines and stuff like that. But Near, I didn't realize it was called Near Replicant, or is that just what they're calling it? I'm not too sure. I really don't care, because I absolutely loved the game. And I actually had a dream about this game. No bullshit. So in the dream, I was walking towards the little game display in Walmart back in their electronics section. And I remember seeing a game and it was called Noir, N-O-I-R. And I didn't get the game in the dream. The dream just sort of ended after that. And I don't remember how much time went by, maybe two weeks to a month went by after that, and I found myself in uh, the gaming aisle. And I saw the game in the aisle. That's what it looked like. That's literally what I saw in my dream. But it was called Near, not Noir. And I flagged my aunt down and I said, you know, Nain, this was the game I had a dream about. And she was like, oh, do you want it? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, okay, I'll get it for you. That was by far one of the few nice things my aunt did. Let's not get into that. Instead, we're going to get into this. I want to see what they have going on. It's only a minute and 14 seconds, so we're not going to be here for that long. But either way, let's get right on into it. Nears 10th anniversary. Holy crap, I am old. In a distant, distant future, humanity is on the brink of extinction. Black scrawl disease and strange beasts threaten the world. Oh man, I'm starting to get the memories from the feels of this game. Oh my god. A young, kind hearted boy makes a promise to his little sister. A thousand year lie that would live on for eternity. Wow. Oh, I'm gonna so, so play this game. I'm gonna do it. Oh my gosh. I started to get flashbacks from that game because, spoiler for how the old game was, it would basically be how things were in my life. You know, your daughter is sick, you found some book, monsters are attacking you, you seek the help of this book, and your daughter is kidnapped, and you cut a hole through everything in front of you until you find her. That was effectively the main thing of the game, was that you were being rad dad, which is what I would do. But I, saw, I started to get the feels because that game was emotional too. And granted, I mean, 10 years ago, you know, I was barely going on 18 years old at that point. So games didn't really hit me in the feels like they do now. I guess because, you know, 
us as young kids, things are a little different. We have to keep up a certain image or we're going to get made fun of. But I want to play that game. I want to play that game. So I did some research just looking some stuff up about, you know, what Square E says about the game. And I had a chuckle because it said the first game near the, you know, precursor to this remaster did not get as much reception, but it was newly received in a new light once near Automata came out. That first game holds a special place in the hearts of a select few. And I am proud to have had the opportunity to be one of those select few people. And I already know, seeing as I cried with Nier Automata, I already know I'm going to cry with this. I just hope that when it comes to the PC version, we don't need a mod to play the game at full quality like we did for Nier Automata. Because that was the hardest part about playing that game on the PC. For some reason, and this was game-wide, for some reason, the graphics just did not add up. But somebody made a mod that was not illegal, mind you. Everybody who played Nier Automata on the PC had to use it in order to get the full quality of the game. Hopefully, they do something about that for Nier Replicant, and it's not needed. But if it happens, oh well. I'm going to play the game anyway. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Until next time, I appreciate all of you for watching. Like and subscribe for more, for I will continue to make these videos for many moons. Stay safe out there, and never forget to holla at your bear. Peace out.